you wake up and the first thought in your head is, I can't do this. I can't face another day. I can't continue to fake my way through the, the stage of life that I'm in. That even though I'm so successful and I've achieved the dream, right? And from the outside looking in, it looks like I've got everything, but I don't feel it at all. And really, in the inside of your soul, you're tired of living in that space. You know that you are meant to do something better than where you're sitting right now, and you're just not sure how the hell to achieve it. And if this is you, then hi, my name is Jennifer Zenzels, and I'm the founder and owner of Laughing Lotus Wellness. And what I do is work with women just like you. I have been there. And what I do is work to support women getting clarity around where they've been, where they want to go and how they're going to get there. And sometimes that really looks like a lane change. Sometimes it means we can stay where we are, but sometimes it means we have to switch gears in order to really step up and step back into that space of alignment. And all those things are, are signs of misalignment. They're not me they're not signs. You don't have purpose, right? You're not stuck forever. It just means we need to take a look and regroup and reconnect figure where you're going. And so I know I've spent 15,000 hours plus across the couch from people doing psychotherapy, working with people in managing mental health issues and uncovering personal growth concepts so that they can really step into who they want to be, right? And so today we're going to be talking about reset your mindset and intention, which is something I taught all the time in my office. And so we're going to talk about today one thing is, first of all, I want you to make your thoughts your bitch, okay? So I started this video and I started really intentionally about talking about those thoughts that roll around for us that we start getting stuck in our heads about and they start really developing a momentum and energy that develops this sort of sense of hopelessness and fear and anxiety and overwhelm. And what happens is then we can get stuck in taking action right? And so last week I talked about how to really step into taking action and trusting yourself that you can do this, even if it's a misstep, to allow for that space, okay? And the importance of taking action. So action is like the epicenter of all of the energy that you're trying to move into momentum and then to evolve yourself, right? So if reset means redirect effort to seize and embrace transformation, this is that effort to, to seize, right? We want to grab on, we want to make change. Okay. So one of the first things are you got to make your thoughts your bitch. And what I mean by that is you have to understand that if you are thinking the whole time you're doing something, it's going to fail. That's a confirmation bias. And what'll happen is you'll talk yourself into it. Okay. Has anyone done this? <laughs> I have so done this. And so we want to see, right, what, what we don't understand necessarily that's taking place underneath of all of that psychologically is you have a fear and then what happens is our actions without even necessarily being aware of it will lend themselves directly into sabotaging where we can actually go, right? You've got incredible magic within you. You've got these unique talents and gifts and things that you want to harness. And if we talk ourselves into never living into that space, we won't. I mean, it is a self-fulfilling prophecy. You've heard this word, right? And so anybody in here ever self-sabotage? <laughs> We've all done this. We've all done this. And that's why I laugh about it because it's everybody has done this, right? Okay. So I want you to really harness and work on making your thoughts something that you get to be the boss of. Okay. I talk so much about being the boss of your energy. And one of the ways to start doing that is to actually start being the boss of your thoughts. And so what I would really invite you to do is start to witness, right? Observe without judgment. What thoughts seem to circle around things that are big that you want to be doing for yourself? What are the spots that really scare you? And those are always also, by the way, the spots that scare us are the spots that we like can do the most stuff in, right? The most magic can come from the places where we feel like, oh, I'm like nervous and this scares me, like the big steps, that's the money. And what we want to do is just figure out how to harness the energy to do those things. And so this is one of the ways that I want you to do is I want you to create thoughts that actually harness the energy moving in evolution and direction that you want to go, redirecting your effort. And so what we want to do is sit down and, and create some thoughts. I am capable of, I will be doing this. I want you to do it. Last time I talked about speaking it out loud, I want you to get those thoughts down. 
okay, and have them in front of you somewhere, but I also want you to speak them into existence. So it's both, but I want you to define them super clearly, the things that you're going to be doing, and, and then the thoughts need to coincide with the big spaces, the big scary spaces you wanna step into, that big transformation, they have to match it, okay? And then we're gonna practice saying that. And I said, defining it, focus and clarity for a journey. That's what these things do, right? This is like the skeleton, if you will. It's like, it's like building from the skeleton up. And so we really need to understand where you want to go. What's the big action? What's the big thought? What's the big dream? What are the next steps? And then I want us to think about the thoughts. So rather than feeling like we're always at the mercy of them, we get ahead of them and we redirect the sense of energy going to creating thoughts that actually sustain so that it becomes a confirmation bias for success, not failure, right? We can see how that would all flow together, okay? So that's it for this week. That's what I want you to be working on is that, that making those thoughts your bitches, okay? And defining the focus and clarity and understanding kind of like where we want to be going, the eyes on the prize, which is actually a, um, su I'm super excited. I have a free webinar coming January 19th. It is in the evening from 7 to 8 30 p.m. It is free. It's free, free, free. It's a webinar. And what we're going to be doing is manifesting greatness. So we're going to be talking about all sorts of things in this wheelhouse to really boost you into this next year. So I invite you to sign up, go to laughinglotuswellness.com. It's laughing laughinglotuswellness.com backslash free dash webinar. Bam, you'll be right on the page. Sign up takes 10 seconds and we're off and running. Here's the cool thing about this event. I'm so excited about for about a million reasons, but one is, one is we all just need manifestation time, which is really what we're going to be working in is, is kind of manifesting greatness in the new year. Okay. That's one. Um, and then two, I'm going to be launching something huge in February and I'm going to be announcing it that evening. And there is going to be a freebie bonus to people who show up there. A bonus goes to only the people who are attending that evening period. If you're not there, you don't get that bonus. That And it's going to be the juiciest one I'm going to offer up until I actually launch. And so there's only going to be a couple weeks between. Do not miss this webinar to get that bonus because you can't get it any other way. Um, so please go over again, laughinglotuswellness.com backslash free dash webinar. Get yourself signed up. Come join me. And I, Jen, will support you on rising your path to purpose that evening as we get started, but getting our eyes on the prize. Okay, friends. So until next time, we'll see you then. Take care.